Mindy, what are you even supposed to be? You're just wearing a bikini. Can't you tell, bro? Obviously, she's going as a pumpkin. No, I'm a dirty Halloween slut. I'm going as myself for the ninth year in a row. On the bright side, her face sure is carry enough, as it is. Good one, bitch. Oh, I don't even know why I hang out with you. All you do is bully my ass. Shut your mouth, to us you're just a walking sack of boobies. Yeah, well what about you Sonic? I don't think I've ever seen a skeleton with so much meat on it. Baby don't make fun of our brother. Yeah, only we can make fun of you bitch. If I don't dress like this daddy gets mad at me. And that's our problem bitch. That's right, you need to shut the fuck up. Damn Heidi, you smell good like Bush's baked beans. You want some yummy toothy rolls bitch? I got some in my tights under my crotch for your mouth. I don't really like toothy rolls. Don't care, come inside so we can fuck. I have a boyfriend. Okay, sorry I didn't realize. Fuck this place. That's the fourth house in a row that's handed out nothing but Tootsie Rolls. Let's just cross the street and head on over to another neighborhood. Yeah, let's make luck pee and piss off. But Mama says we are not allowed. I don't want to lose my good girl card. Bart Levy, my sexual master. Have you come to trick or treat with me and my friends? Bitch, we've been through this. I refuse to participate in the poor man's holiday you call Halloween. I have been driving around all night laughing at people who grovel for sweets. And I have come to do the very same to you. Gee willikers Jared, you look so good in your brand spanking Peter Pan costume. I would give the world for you to spank me right now on my black ass and make all of the pixie dust fall. Like I was covering this here sidewalk with magical diarrhea shit. Shut up, slut. I wish my pa was around to see me, though. He loves Halloween. It was the only time of year he could follow kids around in a mask and not get told to stop. I miss him too, Jared. He really knew how to give the bitches a real good time, even though he was a hundred and three. How about I cheer you up by doing a little dance? I won't even charge you nothing. Poor Jared. He hasn't been the same since he lost his dad. Yeah, he has so little left to live for now. You mean besides going to town on cake, up hillbilly bitches? I wish there was a way we could cheer him up. Uh huh. But perhaps there is. What do you mean? Well, bitch. Your mother harnesses the power of magic, does she not? Have you ever tried asking her if she could bring your friend's daddy back from the dead? Bart Levy, you're a genius. Of course, how come we never thought of that? Mama Mama, we need to ask you a question. What? Can you use your royal magic to bring our friend Jared's dad back to life? Fuck no. Magic is a tool to be used for the advancement of a better world. To cement this fact, casters throughout time had only two rules. You can't aid one individual in their own personal greed or help hillbillies. Okay, never mind then. Guess it's over. If only there was somebody else we knew who could use magic. Yeah, if only. Wait a second, actually there is. What about Flora? Remember when she used that spell in the Emerald Peninsula? To blast robot Nick Sleep and Dingo off her land? I have her on speed dial. I'll just call her up right now. Why is her name above mine? Hello. 
Wow, that was fast. Sorry, I got a little excited. No one has ever called me before. Is there something you needed to say? You know we could have met in person for this. I was wondering if you could raise the souls of the dead. Witchcraft, I'm hanging up. Flora, wait. Sonia, I swear to God in hell. Oh no. Oh yes, retard. You better not be calling other magic casters, after I told you no. Well, if your mom is getting involved this must be very important. I'll let you go. Flora, wait. Damn it, Sonia. Miss Hedgehog, it's okay. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever fear you have about me may as well have already been quelled. I shed the trappings of my blue person heritage long ago, in favor of adopting the mannerisms of the superior white class. It's no wonder Iceland remains the most peaceful country in the world. I know, baby. What about your sex uncle? If our Uncle Chuck could use magic, don't you think we would have seen it already? Lame slut. Sheesh. I'm sorry for trying to help. You're no help at all, don't you got a salad to eat somewhere, you dumb bitch? My bro only keeps you around cause he likes looking at knockers. Well, we might as well go see the old man, cause I ain't see any other fucking choice we got. Hey, Bart Levy, mind giving us a Drop ride? Drop the ball, Sam. in his pants, pants is so hot. I just want to squish it. way back, you could drop us off at the first class neighborhood. And let you dirty my seats with your middle class bums. Hell to the no. But you can walk beside my limousine as I drive slowly. So people may get the idea that we are acquaintances. Yet not close enough for people to think I know you enough to give you a ride. Man Sonic, your boyfriend Bart Levy really is the coolest guy. Young master, forgive me for dunking on your boyfriend and his pals. But surely you don't intend me to actually drive next to those asshats. We are men of status. We do not mingle with dependent citizens. Uh huh, like hell Alfred. Put the pedal to the metal and floor this beat. We're like that here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, hooray, huh? So long, you fucking weebs. Yeah! I love having money! Oh my fucking god, I love it so much! The whole world is my fucking bitch! Damn, Alfred, you gotta calm down. This is Uncle Chuck's trailer, alright. But where is he? And where are all the scary decorations? Emo better, eh? Idiot. And we don't your lockdown beat the mailbox. That's just a pumpkin you shoplifted from Kmart. And you didn't even carve it. Yeah. Wait, that's a good. No comments. It's getting cold. I have the window open since I'm cold as it and can't afford a space theater. Hi, Uncle Chuck. Can we ask you a question? It may. We were kind of wondering, can you use magic like our mom? Yeah. Far out. You mean all this time you could cast magic spells, and you never even told us? Well, primero only in all liquid of spell. One of them lets me turn random objects into an empty bear can. So you don't click it all safe because it's empty and not filled with bear. What about the other one? The other one, eh? Juste un natural puerto reanimate te dead. Well, our friend Jared has been really depressed because his dad died last year on Christmas Day. We were hoping that if we could bring his dad back, Jared would return to his happy go lucky self. He say, eh, he fell your pain, but he won't domingo it. Dumas. Why not? You can literally bring people back to life. What's stopping you? Simple. Because if you don't get to be happy, then we saw Dr. Peo plebe. Please, Uncle Chuck. We asked Mom, and she said no. Of course, she did. Your mom will step well of it and all in it. In the honor of the badass necromancer and sit. Please, Uncle Chuck. It would make us very happy. Kids. Necromancy is a lot of work. I have to all cover to the self and get the ingredients. Throw them in a cauldron and mix it up. I don't want a domingo a jitat. I was planning on making rigid chase. 
I'm going to do a chin te brady bunch before you arrived. Come on. Don't give me to se fases. Ano is ano. Oh. What the age? Something is happening to the book. Is this the powers of evil? Look, there was a secret room behind that bookcase in Uncle Chuck's trailer all along. Take this book and find the ingredients in my secret laboratory. As for the two of you, I you know with your trial cross into my secret chambers, with the help of this magic circle. So primero suggest you stay put if you know what's good for your ass. That's all of it. Now we just have to put it in the pot, right? OMG man, it's called a cauldron. Don't you know anything about magic? First it says here we need to throw in a couple of dragon eyes. Next, a half a jar of liquid moonlight. Can of Bud Light, specifically bought, before the whole Bud Light controversy. And a Ziploc baggie of Uncle Chuck's pee. He can smell me pee. Is it ready? The potion's looking good, Uncle. We're ready when you are. Splendid Nilo Yalvas als. Then it's time to begin the ceremony of infinite darkness. Oh, grace. I can you ponte e. El mi criestro get black and gis and open tin edor. Una vil to mete souls lost in oblivion. And release them from the cold grip of that. How long is this going to take? I want to go home and watch Halloween Heroes. The Halloween classic that was released in 2021 by JC Films. That can be viewed for free on the Roku channel. Bro, do you see what I see? It's an angel, they really do exist. I'm so excited I just crapped. Maybe God will wipe my butt. Me too. Hola amigos. Did so me body call for an angel? Yo. Yo re an angel. Like, from heaven. Si. So what message do you want me to give to the big boy in the sky? Or is it what's happening? You don't think he can be an angel because I'm Mexican. Is that it? No, no. It's not that. Then what is it? He just didn't expect angels to say looks on the seed. I'm not going to take this from a mortal. If that's how you feel, then how about he leave and let you pendejos talk to another angel instead? Yeah, oh about you domingo that you stupid nacho. Okay, we. White, white, white. Come back. Oh, so now you want to talk to me. Why don't you tell me why that is? Look, it in quest started off on the wrong foot. I'm not a racist. I am. I you want this to bring back our friend. Vuelta of tacos. Now you have to deal with my boss. And he is racist. Against the Geogs. Oh no. It that boy think it is. I am Metatron, the voice of God and the guardian of heaven's secret records. There is no angel greater than I, and no mortal. Well, besides Cardinal Montclair of Dresden, of course. For what purpose do mere mortals have to cast the spell of such cruelty and coldness to call upon my service? Answer me quickly before I will smite you with the fist of God himself, or poop in your face like your old public toilet that I will sit upon with my holy cheeks. Can you call your heads for authorization down? You want to bring him back to life? Yeah, we don't got anyone like that up here. You might want to check down below. Well, Jared's dad was kind of a bitch. I... Let's see it again. Or being heroxing. 
Ear me cry. Obey me command and release a soul. Uncle Chuck, you did it. Your magic spell really worked. Of course I did. Welcome back to the world of the living for auto. Your home. Sonic the Hedgehog. Your boyfriend ran over me with a train in my own front lawn. If I so much as see you ass on my doorstep again, even if it's Christmas, I'm going to blast your brains out with my shotgun. So that's sad. Not even a tanks. Damn you can't even bring some on back from the dead without be chest in the room in a twist. Oh, so you want compensation? I'll give you a little something right here before I go. Yeehaw! Right him, cowboy! Have fun scrubbing down the fireplace to rinse it of my shit! Fang it! Come on, let's go find Jared. I can't wait to see his reaction. What in the world? Mindy, Nux, what happened to you? Yet, why are you guys like, eight years old all of a sudden? Blame your stupid uncle. His damn spell went haywire all over the fucking house. A potion fell right on our heads, and I almost took a lightning bolt up the butt. Me too. But unlike him, I was hoping it would go up my butthole, cause that would be hot. Yo sé, desearé the consequences of messing with me magic circle. Are you kidding me? You did this to us on purpose. This is why I hate hedgehogs. Change me back now before I punch you in the balls. Yuck, and then I'll suck them. No, just on a moment. Yo, to we return to normal exactly on the hour after midnight. Was for the other one, eh? I'm afraid it's not quite that simple. Other one. Who are you talking about? Sonic Hurry, you gotta see this. What is happening to me? I'm turning invisible. Uncle Chuck, was I hit by one of your stray spells or something? Help me, or I'm telling Mama. Oh yeah, he forgot to mention. Bringing us all back from the dead requires a sacrifice. And since none of you volunteered, he went ahead and chose the person that he figured we all die in the last. So you chose me? Mindy is standing right there. You was too distracted by under a head all yes. Man, that sucks. When are we going trick or treating? Listen to me, kids. There is the way to save your brother. You will need to domingo those things. First, you will need to go to Subway and get me a tuna salad sub with pickles. That you will need to go convince for authorization to return to the depths of the underworld where he belongs. If you are unable to make him say a reason, you will only other option. World be to look at a different practitioner of the dark arts and ask them to undo the spell. And I of this must be done before midnight. A witch in all. Then that gives us just under five hours to reach both Taco Bell and Jared's farm. Where Pa is no doubt hiding out at. Let's move gang. You expect an adorable eight-year-old echidna like me to walk around on Halloween night without adult supervision. What if I get grabbed by a molester? It's okay, Nux. Big Sis will make sure nothing bad happens to you. What's that, bitch? You want me to buy your uncle a tuna salad sandwich from Subway? Why, I would love to. Hi, can I order a yummy foot long? Wow, you're Bart Levy. Yeah, that's right. Now don't talk to me. I'm ordering a sandwich. Can I have an autograph? I'm sort of in the middle of ordering. That's okay, I'll wait. So, what are you going to get? It's um, for a friend. Who's your friend? Maybe I know him. What's your yearly financial income? Around 24,000 a year. Uh huh. Trust me when I say that we do not share the same acquaintances. What do you want? I'll take a tuna salad sub with pickles and no mayo. And you know what? What? It's my cheat day. Okay. So throw in some salt and vinegar chips. Okay. That's not all. Okay. Throw in a can of Pepsi. We're all out. Okay, never mind. Okay.
Here's your tuna salad sandwich. Did you put mayo on it? I asked for no mayo. My bad. Here's your tuna salad sandwich. Thank you very much. Yo, what about my autograph? Here's some advice, kid. How about rather than idolizing celebrities, which are basically glorified strangers who will never give you the time of day, learn to love yourself instead. You are the one that matters. Most of all. Really? I matter. In fact, why don't instead I have your autograph? Bart Levy Montclair of Dresden is asking for my autograph. This is the best day of my life. Bart Levy, Bartleby, why are you leaving? Oh, you're still here. I was under the assumption that you knew it was a joke. No one would ever want your autograph. You're worthless. This trailer park looks disgusting. I'm not stepping one foot in there. Hey old dude, come to the window and hold out your arms. I got you a subway. Buck, Bart Levy super long limousine is still driving by. And across the street is Jed Van House. We'll never get to the other side like this. It's no use. One of us is going to have to crawl under and get to the other side. I will do it. No, Blinky, you can't. You are Manic's best friend. I know. And it's because I'm his best friend that I am willing to do this. Because my name is Blinky. My older brother would bully me by calling me Stinky. So I want to prove to the whole world that I'm not Stinky. I am Blinky. And if I can go out saving Manic the Hedgehog, my best friend, then I would be hyped as shit. Go Blinky Go, you can do it. Just a little more to go, don't give up. I'm making it you guys. Are you watching? I'm already halfway across. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save our tell Manic. Oh god, the end of the limo is here. There's no way we will make it under the bumper in that cactus. Hurry Blinky. Hurry, before you get run over. You're going to die, if you die, <gasps> oh my god. No! No! Not Blinky. Why did it have to be him? Blinky, you've always been there with us, through thick and thin. That's right. Never wanting to steal the show. Just satisfied being a part of the crew. I will never forget you as long as I live, Stinky. my eyes and I can see the day we met just one moment and I knew you're my best friend do anything for you we've gone so far and done so much and I feel like we've all Sonic, I've been meaning to call you. You're not gonna believe what happened tonight. It's a Halloween miracle. Let me guess, it's about your paw, isn't it? Why? How did you know that fat boy? Well, you see, it all started like this. That was a warning shot. The next step you take, I'm sending bullet right through your fucking face, boy. Now get off my land. We don't want no hedgehog scurrying about. Pa, stop. They're white folk. Gosh darn it! You're lucky my son is correct! Sorry, Sonic. You know how the old man can be. He's been saying some weird shit. Like how he came back from the dead through the powers of evil. And how they might be trying to send him back to the underworld. That's actually what we're here to talk about with you, Jared. Don't tell me. Sorry, Jared. We wanted to do something nice for you after we saw you crying like a little girl. But things didn't exactly go as planned. 
So now we have to send your poor back to the burning rivers of hell. No, I won't let you take him away from me, Sonic. Not now that I have him back in my arms again. Oh shoot, he has a tiny knife, like Peter Pan. Don't let him escape, he has to pay for this. Aw oh shit, guess I'm gonna have to replace this door frame again. Bro, you stay here, and rest that ass, well go in there, and kill that bastard. No bro, I started this, and so I deserve it. It's not wrong for Jared to be angry with me. Or for anyone to be jealous of my cool blur as Barry Mohawk. If we can't convince Port, then we have to find another necromancer to undo the spell. I'm not going to lose my boyfriend like this. Do you hear me, baby? Manic, are you even listening to me? Shut up, bitch. Howdy, yolo. Did I hear someone say they require the powers of wickedness and despair? If so, then I'm your gal. Sarah, you're an acromancer. Why, sure, I am cutie patootie. Why do you think I'm black? But why would you ever help us? It was Sonic's boyfriend Bart Levy who killed Pa, and also tore yours and Jared's relationship apart. That may be true, but I want to help because he and I are the same. Manic is the triplet that nobody likes, and I'm just ugly as shit. I'm like the westernized version of Hearts and Miku, so me and Manic in a way are two peas in a pod, except in like him I'm ugly as shit. Vision. Hurry and free Manic of his curse, so we can get our trick or treat on. Unfortunately, I don't know any spell that can undo what your handsome uncle did. This hedgehog appears to have had a mighty powerful incantation placed upon him. Even I'm not powerful enough to remove it entirely. But that's quite fine. There is still one thing I can do. If I move the incantation from Manic and put it onto somebody else, your brother can still be saved, and Pa will be able to live too. It would be a win-win situation. But who on earth would that be? We can't just kill a random person. Why? We'll just kill my own mother. She's been a thorn in my side for too long. Also I'm on the will to inherit her fucking bar on house. It would be like wiping two buttholes with one square of toilet paper. She's in that building over there. Ma lives all by her lonesome because nobody likes her. Let's murder her. There you are, you filthy whore. Did you get my Burger King? Oh, you little shit. I see what's going on here. There's an incantation on that boy and you intend to pass it over to me. Well, I ain't letting that happen, you hear? The Barton house will never be yours. I don't think you have a say in this, Ma. Shut up. Where's my whopper? You're not getting any of that, Ma. Why? What is the power of ancient evil to a shotgun? Ouch! Sarah is in trouble, Sibs. We have to help her. It's juice and jam time. You all! Now this is what I call a whole show now! She's still overpowering us. Is she using some kind of wind magic? She has to be. No, she's just fucking farting on us. Don't give up. She has to stop eventually.
good job everyone, we knocked out the old bitch. Now I can use my magic to transfer the curse from Manic to my mama. You fucking bitch! I raised you like my mother because you were. I knew I should have made the knot tighter when I put you in a sack and threw you in the lake when you were a baby. Yeah, maybe you should have. Bye bye now, mama. I'm going to enjoy my pristine new bar on house. Aw oh, man, bro, you had us scared half to death, you know. I thought I would have to go looking for a new brother. I ain't the only one who made it Sonic. Look out there. Come on, Paul. I hear they're handing out Tootsie Rolls on East Street. Tootsie Rolls? My golly, I haven't had a Tootsie since I was a boy. Now back that ass up cause I want to smack it a whole lot. It is done, eh? Thank you all for being here today is most funeral service. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised since you're the ones that killed her. Before we all say a few words, is there anything someone would like to add? Yes, Count Dracula. Why are we doing this outside in your front lawn instead of some kind of a new? And why are you? In an outhouse. Good question. The answer to your second question is that I have to take a smelly dump. And I'm not going to answer the first one. How about that, boy? Okay, I don't really care to be quite honest. Who else has a question for my ass? The Indian caricature from that one racist song in Peter Pan. I just want to get things straight. In the 31st episode of Sonic Underground, where Jared, Sarah and all you bitches debuted for the first time, Sarah and Jared were shown to be in a secret romantic relationship at the start. Yes. And you're Jared's dad. Yes. And Maul was Sarah's mother. Yes. And at the end of the episode you and Maul got together in a romantic relationship too. Yes. So doesn't that mean Sonic Underground technically promoted incest? Yes. I will accept no further questions. Me and Maul didn't always see things I do how you see. Except for the times she came over looking to get grilled in her smelly ass ha ha. Which was a couple of times a day. What I'm trying to say is, if there's anyone who may have a few king words to share, you may do it now. When I walked into that room tonight, and I saw that gun pointed at me, all I could think was, damn, this bitch is crazy. And what's she gonna use that gun for? Is she going to fucking shoot me? I have never feared more for my life than when she demanded a whopper from Burger King. She tried to fart on us. I could not believe it, when she literally tried to fart on us. It smelled so bad in there, I had to leave the fucking room. I'm going to be honest with you. When I cast my spell, I had no idea it all turn out like this. But it made for a long god the AMRS 12345 video. <laughs> That was important. You only apologize. That bitch stole my radishes. She still needs to pay me back. Preferably with but sex. Pardon, now's not the time. It's always the time. God, I loved that bitch. She was ugly as shit. But that dump truck of hers was packing that load. And that's all men could ever want in one end. Now I know Halloween is almost over. But that doesn't mean the fun has to stop. If you still have time, we're hosting a trunk or treat out front on my Paul's farm. We would be delighted if y'all came. The admission is $16 and you can take home three pieces of candy. There's also a barrel where you can go bobbing for apples and play cornhole if you're into that shit.
And then when we're done we can get together and watch Halloween Heroes on the Roku channel for free. Thanks for coming to the trunk or treat guys. Be sure to come back again next year for three more. Jamrat a piece of cuckoo. I swear I did not just see you give that boy three whole pieces of candy. Give him a fourth one. That boy's uncle defeated battled the devil and brought me back from hell. I think he earned himself an extra tootsie roll. Oh my goodness, look see Daisy everyone. Mama came back to us. Oh, this Tinka Bell is so happy she could suck some Tinka balls. But how is this possible? Sarah transferred the incantation over to you. You dirty slut! You just couldn't stay away from my sagging balls, could you? Let's just say, a good friend offered to take my place in eternal damnation. We did it boys, we truly up the Halloween heroes. I'm so glad to finally be back. None of this would be possible if it weren't for all of my friends. And how could I forget my best friend? You, the one watching this episode right now. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure. We couldn't have done it without you. Hey, what was your favorite part of the episode? I like that too. So what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? Well that sounds really cool. I hope you have it yourself for I feel Halloween, because you deserve it. I love you. And thank you, you do a push up. No, you turn. Pretty cool, Sporticus. But can you show us how to do a handstand first? Hashtag. Did I already show you how to do it every time this morning? Oh, it seems we forgot. Would you mind showing us again? It's what a hero would do. I guess so. Nothing can beat putting in a bit more exercising after all. Ah, it's only in the youth of today that's going to exercise in men's living fee.
took is what is going on here? Ah, il clique, fucking Zena. Stagy, stay new toi, 40 dongo. Sportifus, Zana is trying to hack into my toy car's infotainment system. Zana's got me. He's got me by my goddamn balls. Jay out of the car strategy. The furry driver web with you. Fuck you, bitch. I bought this car with my hard earned allowance. Taste the team to do so strategy. Jay out no. You like the pony. Shut up, bitch. Somebody help me. Zigji, Fusion for Temple DJ in front of Strangy Car. It team for you to be a hero. Map sense your sofa. You can stop the car of Strangy. Amigo. Oh no. No, it's a night tree into a mirror zip. Fuck you, bitch. He won't lay the straw me fucking blah. He'll fucking kill you, bitch. Shut up, bitch. You can't hit me, stupid. I'm not even there. Ha 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 ha. Besides, you're not the first one to go up against my ass. Die in your fucking flip. Ah! Huh. Smell ya later, bitch. Curses, Leoka Warrior Kid got away, but at least I got Sporticus.